that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. Congratulations. Immigration makes us stronger. It keeps us vibrant, it keeps us hungry, it keeps us prosperous. It is part of what makes this such a dynamic country. And if we want to keep attracting the best and the brightest that the world has to offer, then we need to do a better job of welcoming them. We've known for years that our immigration system is broken, that we're not doing enough to harness the talent and ingenuity of all those who want to work hard and find a place here in America. And after avoiding the problem for years, uh, the time has come to fix it once and for all. The time's come for a comprehensive, sensible immigration reform. Now, a couple of months ago in Nevada, and then last month again in my State of the Union address, I talked about how Republicans and Democrats were ready to tackle this problem together. And the good news is that since then, we've seen some real action in Congress. There are bipartisan groups in both the House and the Senate working to tackle this challenge, and I applaud them for that. We are making progress, but uh, we've got to finish the job, because this issue is not new. Everyone pretty much knows what's broken. Everybody knows how to fix it. We've all proposed solutions, and we've got a lot of white papers and you know, studies. And we just got, at this point, to work up the political courage to do what's required to be done.